Hi, it's Tessa and I'm here today to do a quick eyeshadow tutorial. I'm going to use the Lorac Pro Palette. I've only used this like two or three times because I was trying to, for the new year, switch up my eyeshadow so I use more of the things that I don't use that often. The first thing I'm going to apply is the CoverGirl Flamed Out Eyeshadow and this is in 350. I don't think it has a color. Of course I can't see. Hopefully I'm in the frame here. Let me move my mirror closer. I can't see what I'm doing. Of course. Without <laughs> my glasses on. Alright. Maybe I should put my mirror in front of me on this side. Let's try that. Move all my stuff out of the way. I'm finally starting to feel a little better. Um, not quite as sick. Oh, that's better. So, that's good, huh? Alright. This stuff is very dry. It's not very creamy when you put it on. I don't know if I warm it up in my finger, if it'll be any better. Yeah. The best way to do it is rub it on your finger and then apply it. It seems like it warms it up a little bit. Okay. So that is my base. And then I'm going to go in with the taupe color, which is right here with a blending brush and I'm just using one that I got from eBay. I'm going to apply that into the crease. Just roughly apply it. It's very um, snowy and dreary out today so the lighting may not be that great. I hear my husband coughing in the background probably. Alright. Apply that in the crease. This is just going to be a real natural eye look today. The rag shadows are very powdery, so you have to really use a light hand. I already did my whole face, so. Alright, a little bit more on this side. See what I'm doing here? Okay. Since I have hooded eyes, I find that it works best to apply my crease color first. And then go back in and apply the lid color. Just seems like it works better for me. Okay. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to take a flat shader brush and I'm going to apply the light bronze and then the pewter. So the light bronze is going to go on the inside of my lid. Probably three-fourths of the way. And then I'm going to flip my brush over and apply the pewter color on the outer third and kind of blend it into that lighter color. And up into the crease a little bit and I'll blend that out in a second. I'm just going for a really natural light eye today. Whoop. And then I'm going to take that blending brush again and just blend that in to my crease. Blend it really well. Just headed to Walmart after this to get some groceries. So don't have to do anything fancy here. Then I'm going to take a bigger fluffier brush and just a clean brush and just blend that all together. And then, I really want to blend this. Having the eyes is kind of hard. I have a spot there. Okay, so that's it for that. And then I'm going to take a fluffy brush and this cream color. Can you see that? And apply that for my eyebrow highlight very lightly. And then I'm going to take the Sigma E30 pencil brush and take that cream color again and just apply that on my inner corner. And I mixed it with a little bit of the nude color, so the cream and the nude. Just tap it both and apply that on my inner corner. Okay, that is that. And then 
I'm going to go in with my little tiny Urban Decay Zero pencil and apply my eyeliner. I'm just using this every day till it's gone. So I haven't been switching my eyeliner up at all. Eyeliner plus the lash line. I really like that Lorac Pro palette. It's really nice. Very versatile. Okay, so there's that. And then I'm going to curl my lashes. And I'm going to apply the L'Oreal Lash Out Butterfly Mascara. I think I might go back in and do a little something on the lower lash line. I think of that pewter color. And line my waterline too. Okay. So for the lash out, this is what the brush looks like. I'm sure everybody's seen it. I'm just going to go in and put this on. There's one coat on that lash. And when you use this mascara, you do have to flip your hand this way. You can't go in like this because you're not getting that edge. Whoop. I just flung all over my cheek. I hate when that happens. Okay. I'll let that dry for a second. I'm going to go back in and do one more coat. All right. Then I'm going to put some um, eyeshadow on my lower lash line. And then I will... I need a brush. Brush, brush, brush for my lower lash line. I'm just going to use an angled brush. Back in with that pewter color. I'm just going to add a little bit. Smoke it out a little. Nothing great. So I'm just going to Walmart today. Um... Okay, and then back in with the mascara for the lower lash line, and that will be the completed look. This mascara does not work very good on the bottom lash line. Let me grab my CoverGirl Clump Crusher for the lashes on the bottom. It works a lot better. Okay. All right, so that is the completed look. Um, just a real quick, simple eye look today. And I gotta do some with these bangs. So that's it. What's going on with my hair? <laughs> All right, so that is everything, and thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.